Total Drama, the series that changed our childhood forever. Over the last 16 years, it became one of the most controversial cartoons, with fans raising theories about the show and its characters. Many of them have never been confirmed by the creators of Fresh TV, but neither have they been denied. What are these theories, and how many of these are actually true? Stay tuned, because in today's episode, we will debunk the most controversial total drama theories. After we analyze each theory, they will be put into one of these three categories. Probably true, doubtful, and definitely fake. Number 1. One of the most popular theories in the history of Total Drama is that Lindsay was supposed to be a finalist alongside Duncan in Total Drama action. And the reason why it didn't happen is because her voice actor, Stephanie Ann Miller, had to leave the show because of her personal problems and the creators changed the last episodes. This theory makes sense because in Total Drama Action, Lindsay played a bigger part and felt like one of the main characters. Moreover, her elimination felt forced and unexpected with her just voting herself out by mistake. It was like the creators couldn't find a good reason to eliminate her and just made that up at the last moment. But when we look at how cartoons are made and the contracts voice actors have with creators, we can see why this can't be true. The production of a cartoon starts off with the script, then voice recordings, and finally animation. So, Fresh TV couldn't make any big changes in the last episodes even if they wanted to. This theory is definitely fake. Number 2. Total Drama had some pretty crazy characters over the years, but none of them were nearly as crazy as Izzy. Like, not even one. Even Scary Girl could take some notes from her. Yet, there's a theory that says she might not be truly crazy. Instead, some people think she's actually very smart and only pretending to be crazy. And yes, we are talking about the same girl that smacked her head to the pier in the first episode of Total Drama Island, because she was confirmed in the same season to have an IQ of 188. Doesn't sound so impressive? Just consider that Elon Musk has an IQ of 155 and that Einstein had an IQ of 160. Also, in the Total Drama World Tour, after the plane crashed due to the impact, her brain was fixed from her condition and she became a genius. After that, the military suddenly takes interest in her only minutes after she wakes up. This can only mean that she had this intellect from the beginning and that the military kept her under observation all this time. Maybe she had become dangerous due to her intelligence combined with her nuts personality. Either way, we can be sure that Izzy is more than just the crazy girl everyone thinks she is. So this theory is probably true. Number 3. It's been said that Total Drama brings out the worst in people, and some fans even started a rumor that this show turned the innocent Dawn from Revenge of the Island into Scary Girl from Total Drama Island 2023. And it's not really a surprise, because both of them seem to have the same eye color and face design. But if we dig into the details, it becomes clear that they are not the same person. Also, their personalities are totally different. Even if somehow Dawn would have become crazy, she would have taken her revenge on Chris or the producers of the show and never on the animals. While Scary Girl totally destroyed a bear just for growling at her, this theory is definitely fake. Number 4. From a Total Drama Island voice message, we could tell right away that Duncan looks a ton like his parents. Yet, if we skip 8 years later, in the Redonkulous race, there is another character that resembles Duncan's mother, even more than Duncan himself. And this character is Crimson. We know what you probably think. There's no freaking way these two could be related! But they actually could, because in one episode of Redonkulous Race, Crimson appears without makeup, and she really looks a lot like Duncan's mom, especially with the same eye design. Also, her hair seems like a mix of both of Duncan's parents' hair colors, and both Duncan and Crimson have that goth vibe. So this theory is probably true. Number 5. Long distance relationships are usually hard to maintain, especially when some random Chad puts his eyes on your girlfriend. That seems to have happened with Bridget and her home boyfriend, because in her audition tape from Total Drama Island 2007, we hear some guys saying, Show what you got, babe. So there is a theory that before coming to Total Drama and meeting Jeff, Bridget already had a boyfriend back home. And that even could be the reason why she pushed Jeff away at the beginning of the season. Yet she never mentioned being in a relationship. So it is possible that they could have broken up before the contest began. 
this theory is doubtful. Number six. We all know Julia from Total Drama Island 2023, but doesn't she look a lot like Blainly? After the new season came out, a lot of fans noticed the strong similarity between Julia's design and Blainly's. So with that came a theory that Julia must be Blainly's daughter. Now this theory has some strong arguments considering that both Julia and Blainly have the same eye, ear and lips design and share the same desire for fame. Also, if you think about it, compared to most of the other characters, Blainly was already an adult during the Total Drama World Tour. And as we know, Total Drama Island 2023, although called a reboot, is happening in the same universe and timeline with other seasons. It is very possible that Blainly could have had a daughter by now, so this theory is probably true. Number 7. Total Drama World Tour had amazing endings for both Alejandro and Heather. But there is a rumor that in some regions of the world, the winners were neither Heather nor Alejandro. Instead, there was a third alternative ending in which Cody won. Unfortunately, this theory is definitely fake. And here is why. This theory appeared because in some regions of the world, the finale of Total Drama World Tour was aired live, with people having the possibility to vote who they want to win. But to avoid spoiling Cody's early elimination from the episode, he was added as a vote option. This made people think that he could have won along with Alejandro and Heather. Number 8. During Total Drama Island, Gwen definitely felt like the hero of the season. She kept clutching challenges against Heather, the main villain of the season. However, although in some countries there is an alternative ending where she won, she didn't win in the canon version. And for that, there is a theory that Chris rigged Total Drama Island for Owen to win. And this actually could be true because in the Total Drama Island special episode, after Owen won, Chris gave him the opportunity to give back the $100,000 for a chance at $1 million. But in order to get the money, he had to compete against the other contestants. Long story short, the contestants lose the money and they get invited to a new season. But in the beginning of Total Drama Action, Chris mentions that the money in the suitcase is the same from last season, which means that the producers of the show managed to recover the suitcase lost by the contestants. Actually, it's the same money. So it is possible that Chris made sure Owen wins so he could convince him to gamble the money he won for a chase at a million. While Gwen probably would have never accepted that deal, but this theory is doubtful. Number 9. We all know that Sierra had an obsession with Total Drama. But did you know that her mom was also obsessed with Chris? There is a fan theory that says Sierra is actually Chris's daughter from a one night stand between him and Sierra's mother. And the reason why Sierra joined the Total Drama World Tour was to get to know him better before telling him she is his daughter. Now this theory has pretty much no arguments behind it, and there are no physical similarities between Chris and Sierra, so this theory is definitely fake. Number 10. You guys remember how Max felt more like an arrogant kid than a villain in Total Drama Pocket 2 Island? That might be because he wasn't evil in the first place. There's a theory that Max wasn't actually a villain, but rather a paid actor hired by Chris. And that happened because after Mal became a lunatic in the last season, he wanted a more family-friendly villain. That also might be the reason why Max seems so scared after Scarlet is revealed to be evil. Maybe Chris told him there are no other threatening contestants on the island, and he was supposed to be the main antagonist. But other than that, there are no more arguments for this rumor. So this theory is doubtful. If you liked this video, make sure to comment down what theories you would like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.